Hey everybody, um, today I wanted to show off a Minecraft program, or a computer craft program, that I made for Feed the Beast or Tech It that mines copper. And I made this program because I was playing Feed the Beast with my friend, and I realized we were always short on copper. And I went and looked into it, and I found out that copper only spawns between levels 40 and 75. And this is really high up compared to um, most other ores. Typically you uh, want to like you know strip mine or mine uh, pretty close to bedrock so that you have a good chance of finding you know diamonds and redstone and uh, most of the other goodies spawn pretty low too. So um, the result is that we never had any copper. And um, since copper does spawn so high up I wanted to make a, a turtle that would uh, dig out copper and replace all the other blocks, all the landscape. Um, exactly where it was. So um, I've got this program and it runs on a, a wireless mining turtle and um, uh, what it will do is it'll dig just just like the excavate program if you've already used that before on a mining turtle. It'll work just like that except instead of digging uh, down it'll start uh, wherever it's at it'll start there dig uh, a square a cube from the bottom up. So uh, what you'll want to do is dig down and start at probably around 40 or so, uh, where copper uh, first starts to spawn, and then have it dig up an area, maybe, you know, 10, 15 blocks or so up from 40. And um, and I'm just going to give it a demonstration now. So I'll build a, uh, let's see, I'll build a chunk of earth here with, uh, laced with some copper, just to show you guys how it works. Fill this in. Let's see, we'll do a 4x4. Four four. We'll put lots of copper in there. Okay, and I'll even show, we'll put some gravel on top just to show that uh, it won't completely break if there's gravel involved. And we'll put some more copper. And that should be plenty right there. It'll take us a fair amount of time dig this up. It is a rather slow program, but uh, it does what it's supposed to. So um, it's on here. It's called Mine Copper, and uh, you'll see uh, it'll want to take uh, both a size and a height. So the size um, in this case is going to be four, and it mines a square, so it's four by four. That's what the size will be. And then the height. So for here, we're going to put in two and just have it dig up two. Um, but typically you might do something like, you know, 20 by 20 with a height of 10, and that would uh, take quite a while to complete, but uh, something more reasonable. Um, but there's a few things you have to do first, and if you type mine copper help, you'll get some instructions on how it works. Um, but anyway, what you want to do is put the item that it's searching for in the first slot here. And it doesn't have to be copper, but um, we're using it to mine copper for now. And um, if your server or uh, world is using fuel for your turtles, then you want to put some fuel in, um, in the first slot here. <coughs> in the second slot, I'm sorry, it does have to be in the second slot. And um, it's important to note that um, when you run this program, it will check if, uh, if you need fuel, so it checks to see if... Uh, if turtles require fuel, and if they do, it's going to um, calculate the total amount of fuel that it'll need to complete the job that you give it, um, and it'll want all of that fuel up front. It's going to completely consume all the fuel up front for, for the entire job. So um, just so you know, the amount of fuel you need to give it is, uh, is uh, the size, which is 4, times the size plus 1, which is 5, times the height, which is 2. So it's just um, size times size plus one times height, and that's the amount of fuel it needs. Um, and uh, one piece of coal is uh, is 80, counts as 80 fuel. And um, you can look up on the wiki that shows tells how much fuel each uh, fuel product gives. But um, so uh, really, we just need one piece of fuel there, and. Um, and that's it. Um, you should leave the rest of the inventory blank, especially these last two, which it'll use to uh, placeholders when it's putting blocks that it mines up back. So we'll go ahead and say mine copper. 
wrapper um, four and two. So that, like I said, it checked to see that it had all the fuel it needed. It did consume its uh, piece of coal. And now you'll see it's digging through here. So it'll dig up the block and then it'll replace it once it goes past it. He'll come out here and he will replace that one. Moving over, so you can see the empty spots here are where there was either uh, gravel or copper. So there was copper there, he has now, there was some gravel over here. Um, you know, he didn't notice he didn't pick up the gravel, it's just, just laying on the ground. And um, that'll also happen if there's coal in the area, or any, any block that you can't replace. Um, it's just going to get dropped on the ground, and that's just a side effect of this. Um, but it's really not a big deal, I guess, unless you're using this uh, near bedrock, and then you run the risk of dropping diamonds on the ground. But um, anyway, if you run this um, on a large scale, uh, you know, with uh, large values, like I said, it'll take quite a long time for the job to complete. And um, and it's really easy to uh, you know worry if uh, the job failed or he's just stuck somewhere underground. And uh, unlike the uh, typical excavate job where it's easy to go find the turtle, in this case, if uh, if something goes wrong, you know he's um, going to be somewhere underground, completely surrounded by blocks, which will make it uh, practically impossible to um, to find him. So. Um, you'll notice he has a wireless mining turtle, and that's because um, he's broadcasting messages um, about his progress. And um, they're, they're just broadcast messages. He broadcasts uh, copper underscore found whenever he finds copper, and he also broadcasts his uh, percentage of completion every time he completes one column. So over here, um, I have a listener. And um, Mm, let's see. It may be too late for this. Yeah. But there he completed it. Um, you'll notice he mined out all the copper and all the gravel is also gone. His inventory contains only copper at this point, which is exactly what you want. And um, let's see, I'll, I'll do a quick demonstration just to show you how, um, how you can check the status. So if I put a bit of copper back here, and run it again, this time you'll see um, this little listener program I wrote listens for the red net messages. Say copper found, copper found. And then when he completes the column, it'll say he's 12.5% complete. So that way um, you can see kind of where he's at. And uh, this program, um, I'm not going to go over as much. Uh, you can actually write something a lot more robust if you wanted to, just based on the, uh, the messages that he's sending out. Or you can even change what messages he's sending. And, have a really robust tracking system that maybe shows visually where he's at um, as far as his progress goes. But um, that's about it for this program. Uh, I'll post it up for you guys to try it out and maybe modify it. Um, but just to give you a quick understanding of how it works, I was going to go over the code over here. And so um, so just a little bit how it works. Um, so what's going to happen? Uh, the program starts here. It just uh, is going to open a port for the RedNet messages. Um, just going to do some argument checking here to make sure you gave it the correct command line arguments. If you said help, it'll give you some help messages here. <coughs> if um, down here it'll say, okay, and then here's where we actually start, is down here. We say, um, if the fuel level is unlimited, then we'll go ahead and print, you know, no fuel required, mining, and then we'll go ahead and start, call the function mine copper. Otherwise, we're going to, 
if it's not unlimited, we're gonna call this function check fuel, and then we'll mine for copper. So I'll just go over check fuel real quick. Um, all this is gonna do is um, say while the fuel level is less than a little typo right here. I just found while it's less than um, the size times the size plus one times the height, then we're going to um, you know print some messages for the user. We're going to select the second slot, and then um, while the fuel level is less than, wow, I did it again, plus one. Um, so while the current fuel level is less than what it needs to be to do the job, um, then we'll try to refuel. And uh, if we can't refuel, we'll sleep one second and try to refuel again. So it's just going to wait until you give it fuel before it starts. And that's all this check fuel does, is basically make sure it has the correct amount of fuel. Then um, once it does, we're gonna, we'll go ahead and call mine copper. And um, mine copper will dig a square, uh, called dig square, and then after it digs a square, it'll go up. And uh, that's all it's gonna do for the entire height. And we're gonna give it the n, which is the size to dig square. So here's dig square right here, and um, dig square just does the trick with the uh, uh, mod two. So every other time you want to go either left or right as you're snaking around these columns, and um, basically you're just going to call uh, you know your dig column. Um, you know if uh, your i your index mod two equals zero, then we'll go left. Else we'll go right. Um, and then we've got just one more time here outside the loop to make all the numbers work out correctly. To dig a column, um, which is right here, uh, all we're going to do is um, call dig right here, forward, and replace. And then, um, and then right here we're uh, updating, sending a Reddit message to update uh, the status. So this dig, forward, and replace. Um, dig right here. Um, first he's going to select his first slot, which is where the copper is. Then he's going to compare the um, the spot in front of him with the first slot. Um, this returns true if he's facing copper. So we'll execute this block right here if uh, if he's found copper. And sorry, I'm looking at dig up. Uh, dig up mirrors dig. They're similar except this one's to move up and this one's to move forward. But um, same idea. Um, so if it is copper, we're just going to dig it. We're going to say this variable will replace behind next, and for next is false because we're not going to have to replace a block because we found copper. Um, broadcast that we found copper and increment the amount of copper we found. Um, otherwise, if we didn't find copper, we'll want to select our replace slot in, which is our next replace slot, and uh, then we'll dig it, and then we'll set replace behind next equal to true. So then after we dig, we'll move forward, and uh, all we're going to do here is just um, move forward, and then this business right here is in case, um, <coughs> sorry, this is just in case we encounter um, gravel, and we uh, want to break through it, you know, it's make sure we keep moving forward. And then uh, once we move forward, we'll want to replace it, so if replace behind is true, then, um, then we'll turn around, we'll select replace slot, and, um, and we'll try to drop it, or set it down. Um, once that's done, we'll turn back around, and then we'll set replace behind equals replace behind next, and, um, and then our uh, replace slot and replace slot next, we're just going to switch the two values, uh, swap them, essentially. And um, that's about it, honestly. That's how it works. So um, let me know what you think. Give it a try. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.